today we are going to take a closer look at the structure and function of a prokaryotic cell. Before, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Prokaryotic cells are the simplest and smallest living organisms. They are estimated to have been on Earth for 3.5 billion years. Prokaryotes can be divided into bacteria and archaea. Prokaryotes are found in many different environments, including soil, water and the human body. The structure of a typical prokaryotic cell consists of several components. Firstly, many bacteria have an outermost layer of carbohydrates that is called the capsule. The capsule is sticky and helps the cell attach to surfaces in its environment. Also, prokaryotes possess a cell wall surrounding the cell. The cell wall provides structural support and protection for the cell. The composition of the cell wall can vary between different types of prokaryotic cells, but it is typically made up of peptidoglycan, a complex polymer of sugars and amino acids. Next, the inner of the cell is surrounded by a plasma membrane that acts as a barrier between the inside of the cell and the external environment. The plasma membrane is made up of lipids and proteins and is selectively permeable, meaning that only certain molecules can pass through it. Inside the cell there is a region called the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a gel-like substance that contains all of the cell's components and is site of many cellular processes. Not all, but many prokaryotes possess flagella. A flagellum is a long whip-like structure that allows the cell to move through liquid environments. Again, not all, but some prokaryotic cells have appendages such as pili. Pili, also known as fimbriae, are short hair-like structures that help the cell attach to surfaces or other cells. This attachment is important for several bacterial processes, including colonization, biofilm formation and infection. Prokaryotic cells have a circular piece of DNA called the nucleoid. The nucleoid contains all the genetic information of the cell and is not surrounded by a nuclear membrane like in eukaryotic cells. In addition to the nucleoid, prokaryotic cells may also contain plasmids, small circular pieces of DNA that can be transferred between cells. One of the most important organelles in the cytoplasm of a prokaryotic cell is the ribosome. Ribosomes are responsible for synthesizing proteins which are the building blocks of life. Despite their simplicity, prokaryotic cells are capable of carrying out all of the necessary functions of life, from growth and reproduction to responding to environmental stimuli. Please also do check out these videos here and don't forget to like the video if it was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.